question number 6 says if one of the zeros of the cubic polynomial x cubed plus a x squared plus bx plus c is minus 1, then the product of other two zeros is b minus a plus 1, b minus minus 1, a minus b plus 1, a minus b minus 1. So in this case we are given with 1 0 that is minus 1. So what we need to do is if we take f minus 1 it must be equal to 0. So in this case I will be putting the value of x as minus 1 into the polynomial. So it will be minus 1 cube plus a minus 1 whole square plus b minus 1 plus c equals 0. Now the first term minus 1 cube will be minus 1 plus a minus b plus c equals 0. So what we get here is a minus b plus c 1. So this is my first equation. Now if I get the value of c from here it will be 1 minus a plus b. Now we know that the product of zeros in case of cubic polynomial is alpha dot beta dot gamma and it equals minus d over a. So in this case my d is c and my a is 1 because we have a general equation as ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. So d is equivalent to last term that is c and a is equivalent to coefficient of x cube that is 1. So it will be minus c over 1. Now we know the value for value for alpha. Alpha is 1 here sorry minus 1 here and we don't know the value for beta dot gamma. So from this what we get is beta dot gamma that is minus and minus gets cancelled out so we get beta dot gamma as c. So my if I get this solution first equation and second equation if I compare these two so my beta dot gamma equals 1 minus a plus b. So the right option from above is a part a because we have positive b minus a and plus 1. So right option is a part. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.